What is up everyone, welcome back and I hope you're all doing wonderful. As we all know, every year the national parks and forests get flooded with tourists, especially in the more well-known parks like Yellowstone or Glacier. And among those tourists, every year there's always plenty of them that get into bad situations with the wildlife, usually due to their own carelessness. Those such people are what we're going to be looking at today. Starting it off, this group in Yellowstone National Park decided to approach this bison for whatever reason. Now this clip does start a bit suddenly, so we don't actually know how they got in this situation in the first place. So we don't actually know if they approached the bison first or if the bison approached them. But either way, they are face to face with this creature. After standing there for a few seconds, the people don't seem to be making an effort to try to get away. So the bison responds by charging them. This man steps in to save this kid where he takes the brunt of the attack. He sustained an injury to his arm, but otherwise everyone was fine. Now with them being in an open area, I find it hard to believe that the bison just appeared next to them. I would assume that they probably saw the animal from a distance and decided to approach it. Because I don't know how else they would end up so close to that bison in such an open area unless it was on purpose. Alright, so we got this entire group of people, about 20 or so, just casually strolled through this field right next to these two bison like it's no big deal. And just like the previous clip, they have kids with them too. Check it out. Yo, these people are... They're walking, like, within 10 feet of that bison. A whole-ass group. What are they doing? Being stupid. This is, like, a bunch of kids, too. Yes, they have kids what? with them. Are you... And they're yeah. walking straight past that Could bison. you be any dumber? Like, at any moment, he could decide that he's done with their sh**. What the hell are they doing? Oh my god. Ridiculous. What the hell's the world come to? You don't understand that that's a wild freaking animal? Jesus. This is just next level idiocy. Putting yourself in danger like this is one thing, but bringing kids into it too? These people are not just idiots, they are bad parents. You know, I get it, they're fluffy and cute, but damn, use some common sense. And national parks in America generally make it very clear that these are dangerous wild animals that should not be messed with. There's plenty of signs and warnings about safely distancing yourself from the wildlife. You know, just in case you couldn't figure it out on your own that this 2,000 pound beast might be a bit dangerous. But I guess sometimes that's not even enough. Now here we have this group in Glacier National Park just casually taking pictures of this bear as it passes through. It's really shocking how calm they are about this. They don't even seem concerned at all. They're just so caught up in trying to get their selfies. They are pretty lucky that this bear just didn't care and just kind of continued on its way. That was a bit too close for comfort too and they are not even phased by it. I'm sure they're just happy that they got their selfies for Instagram. Things are about to get a bit crazy. In Custer State Park, South Dakota, there's a whole herd of bison in the road. People are gathered around taking pictures. One woman gets the bright idea to walk up closer to them and tries to call one over to her like it's some kind of dog. Keep in mind, these are baby bison and their protective mothers that she's approaching. And it does not end well. And out of all the clips in this video, this is the worst one. This is a problem. A lady up there is trying to call the buffalo over to her. What the f are you doing? I might be getting her death on camera right now. And that buffalo has a baby. She's drunk. Well, she's reasoning with him now. She's talking with him. Oh my god, it got her. Yeah, and it's dragging her. Holy sh! Oh my god. Don't. And she doesn't have any pants. She has no pants on? Nope, not anymore. Oh my god. On she's unconscious. Probably. Jesus Christ. She 
got too close. Yeah. This is literally what happens when you get too close to a buffalo. There's a buffalo out there with that woman's jeans hanging from its antler. Now I probably will have to blur that out so YouTube doesn't age restrict the video. Basically, the bison's horns caught onto her pants and spun her around on the ground a few times, and her pants eventually fell off of her before the bison ran off. At the end of the clip, you can even see the bison running off with their pants still stuck to his horns. It's situations like these where I'm kind of conflicted. It's hard to feel a lot of sympathy for these kinds of people when they put themselves in these situations. But at the same time, it's still unfortunate that it had to end up like that. If there's anything you guys can take away from this video, it's that just use some common sense. You don't necessarily need to be an expert on how to handle a bison encounter or how to handle a bear encounter. While it can help, the best thing that's going to keep you safe is just don't be like these guys. I mean, I'm sure most of you guys know this, but as we can see here, there's plenty of people that don't. As long as we all admire the wildlife from a distance, we'll probably be fine. And that's going to be it for today's episode. Thank you for watching, guys. I do appreciate it. Drop a like if you enjoyed and subscribe to the channel for more. So stay tuned for more video clips, Reddit content, stories, and all that kind of stuff. If there's any subreddits or topics you want to see me cover, let me know down in the comments. And with that, I'm out of here. Have an awesome day, and I'll see you next time.